Hello. So I'm just setting myself up quickly. Hello. So I'm just setting myself up quickly. Okay, hello everyone. So here we are hello. on uh, Pebec Valley. Um, so I'm just setting myself up quickly. Two seconds. Okay, hello everyone. So here we are hello. on uh, Pebec Valley. Um, up quickly. Two seconds. Um, up quickly, two seconds. Okay, here we are. So, Public Rally episode 11. I did record this episode previously, but, um, just haven't got around to editing yet, but I've got a joystick for Christmas, um, so I thought I'd just do some logging uh, while I am. Um, haven't got much to do, so the Pebec Valley episode I recorded had some issues, so I just thought I'd go live today and show off um, my newfound okay, logging so skills. Pebec Valley episode uh, 11. I did record this episode previously, but um, just haven't got around to editing yet. But I've got a joystick for Christmas, um, so I thought I'd just do some logging uh, while I am. Um, haven't got much to do, so the Pebec Valley episode I recorded had some issues, so I just thought I'd go live today and show off um, my okay, newfound logging so skills. Pebec Valley episode uh, 11. I did record this episode probably. Just haven't got around to it yet, but I've got a joystick for Christmas, um, so I thought I'd just do some logging. Uh, while well, I am, um, I haven't got much to do. So the Pebec Valley episode I recorded had some issues, so I just thought I'd go live today and show off um, my okay, newfound logging so skills. Pebec Valley episode. So I was just doing some checks there, make sure I didn't mute myself or anything again. Um, I'll cut out the first 10 minutes anyway when I publish the video, because there's just a lot of waffle. So today I have uh, leased out this Altec 
logging machine. It's the fixed head um, processor. It's the easiest one to use when you're starting to learn. Um, so you've got the two clamps there, and then you've got the wheels as well, which aren't working at the moment. Because of the update, you can't now cut manually. I've got the Altec on tracks. I've done a little test cut here as well, um, some test cuts, and the little sort of end of the trees there. So the plan today is I have basically to buy this set of land here. You'd think it would come in the sawmill. It's this section here, not this bit. This is separate. That's all of that. So when you buy here, you'd think it would come as a sawmill package, but it buys basically all of the um, shop area, the docks as well, and all the rivers and stuff. It buys it all for 150 grand or 156 grand. So I added the money in and then I've um, just then bought it because it seems a bit silly because if I just want to buy this bit of land here, it's not ideal just because I want to clear these trees away and then I don't really want all this, but that's the way it comes as. So yeah. personally, I think just buying this area here would cost when you buy the sawmill, it should come as a package, it should come in this section here. So that's what I've done. Um, a little bit of cheat, been cheating, but I think it, it does make sense to have that woodland attached to the uh, sawmill. Yeah, I was uh, just listening back on the audio to myself, make sure it was okay. So I didn't realise you would hear the sound as well that I'm listening to through my headset. Oh, Sloth, hello mate. How's it going? Have COVID's not kicking you too much? But yeah, the plan is now to cut away the, all these trees here. Got some stamps. I'm just going to do these stumps manually because stump guns aren't the best in this game. Um, but how it works with the FDR stuff, you need a joystick basically, or you can use controller, but it's a lot easier joystick. I've only got one, but I found a way to sort of do the best I can. I've got a platinum expansion. Um, I'll show you the reason why I'm not using these at the moment. Um, and I'm using the FDR stuff. So the FDR comes with all of these here, the little logo, so you know. So I've used this fixed header. Um, I've released it for seven grand. Again, you can use the uh, these ones here, smaller ones, and you attach the uh, puncher head to cut the trees down. But just for now, to save money, I'm just going to do it with the processor. It's not perfect in the whole process if you watch the FDR login videos, but um, it just it's just easier for the small bit of land we're using. So I'll jump in. Yeah, it took me a while, mate. Um, you've, been, you've got two, haven't you? So you should be a bit better off two. But I've managed to get it down to, to one. So it is a lot easier to use in-cam view, I find. Um, so how it works is, is the, if you knew that joysticks look like the orange and black one, you basically twist it left or right, and it'll rotate the cab. And then go back to the right. That's how it works there. And then... If I want to rotate, there's a little me joystick on the joystick itself, so I can rotate left and right, nice and easy. And then if I want to go pick up trees off the ground and do it that way, I can do so, or I can go forward into a tree. That's what I'm going to use today. Um, and that's really where I've got a set up. Where I've got two buttons next to the joystick, so that's my claw. It does hold it a little bit by itself, but it's just an extra security. You open the claw there. Let's see if I can turn it around a bit so you can see. So you can see the claws there. And then I've run out of buttons, so I've had to use the buttons on the bottom of the joystick for the wheels. And you can turn those on and off to move the log forward. But with the update, they're turned off manual cutting, so you can't cut it now uh, manually, so you can't roll it forward to a length you want it at. So I'll just leave those open because um, they they're not really that important. And then if I want to. There's a button by my thumb and there's one on my finger, like a trigger finger. If I want it to go, I'll show you a different view. If I want to go up, I've got loads on my desk at the moment, so it's difficult. Up is the trigger at the back and then down, that controls that one. If I move that one there, it moves the arm at the back where it says l -Tech, and obviously down. Obviously to do it forward, you need to do both at the same time. So you hold the trigger and you push forward on the joystick and it will do it all as one. If I want to come back. I just hold them both 
it's not perfect at the moment but I'm still trying to learn so I want to come up there and then back like so and then forward it takes a bit of getting used to um, but I find the best way to do it is probably come into cab view and sort of bring it I was on this last night playing for a while but um, just to bring it about there lift it up slightly have it around about this mark here seems to work quite well so we'll get to it I've got a steering wheel plugged in I haven't got a boom arm plugged in yet so I've got the mic right next to the steering wheel so I'm going to sit back in my chair now so the audio may go a bit different um, if it's too quiet let me know and I can adjust my voice or just adjust the gain so let's get to it so I'm working it is find the tree you want no oh, just stumps there still let's get these stumps quickly yeah if you struggle to sign that mate I'll just let me know and I'll, I'll jump in and uh, help you out so what, I try and get as close as I can to the tree and then obviously you want to cut it quite low so just push your stick forward and then adjust your tilt so it's obviously leveled off and hit X and it will cut and then close your clamps so the little thumb trigger and lift up slightly I normally use a bunch ahead for this but obviously I'm going to be using a the processor and then once it's clamped in you just need to reverse back to your point you want to be at uh, a second joystick would be good because you can use the, the toggle on top to use your camera view you haven't got to use for your mouse um, so what I'm doing here I'm just making a pile around about here I'm starting to sort it off because it was quite loud so I'm a bit too far away there so I'll just come forward and left that's why it's annoying that I have the um, mouse nearby so I can't just turn the camera around because my mic's currently in the way of where my mouse would be it's about there I'll try if I line up with the uh, weigh-in station so back slightly more if I bring it in towards me yeah I wouldn't be able to do this with a keyboard or mouse no way with this position and then all I do is I twist it to the right get it level with your pan and then back up so the black bit is roughly in line with your current um, file lower it down slightly because if it's too high it will bounce it will make the logs bounce then just hit X, obviously make sure you hit F1 and change your length cut so it should be 8 meters hit X, so I'm probably a bit too far forward there but that's not too bad so come right slightly so it's just on in line makes it easy to pick them up later on hit the X button sometimes they roll down and if, you get, if the bar is getting quite high what I suggest you do is um, just lift up but now it's my last little bit, so I want the little off cutty bits, not the thick bits over there more. In fact, I'll probably, probably get one more out of that. So I'll cut one more. And then the little scraggly bits at the end. Just make a separate pile as best you can. And then just adjust your tilt with the little joystick you cut that one there so you've got your little uh, skinny bit to the end and then just lift up and pull back mind your pile and there you go simple as that and then you basically go and get your next tree you can cut them sort of like in the woods themselves a bit easier I'll just make a pile in the woods but if I'm when the trees fall they sort of if they hit and have a tree they just go haywire so if you have got like a ground clearing or a bit of space to move them to, it makes life a bit easier. So 
So there, sometimes you get a little bit off on the level, so just back up a bit. And then lower down slightly if you need to. So Zion is not quite level, what I do is just back up and extend the arm a bit more. So you get a bit more, you can get a bit lower then, if that makes sense. There you go. Is that cut it? There we go. I have to pull back slightly because you don't want it to, um, too far away. Can you still hear me, yeah? Mm -hmm. so my reference is that sort of tower there to line myself up because I can't see without getting reaching through my mouse of a joystick. So I'm just going to try and guesstimate where I'm parked. Yeah, you can hear you clear. Perfect. Yeah, I didn't realize Logitech did joysticks as well. We'll upgrade down the line. You probably make them work just as well. And they all got the same the same concept. I've seen one in CX like 15 quid once. They'll probably work just as well. I guess it makes it more enjoyable. I used to hate logging. Like I wouldn't do it. I'd just do it off camera. And I'd just cut the trees down. I'd just delete ref 12 But now it's actually quite enjoyable to do it. If speed things up, it'll kill some time. What we might do is just bring this one to about there. Start a new pile. At least for the big ones. Yeah, obviously you don't get as many functions with some of them, but if you've got a, the basic triggers and the, and the joystick works, it makes life easier. And then I think we get maybe one more cut. I'll put the skinny bit over there. That's the last one actually. I'm a bit too far away. I have to reverse on the next one. Fine, now I can scoop that at the end. How was the uh, rest of your Christmas in the end anyway? You got too much? So now I've got a bit of a clearing. Let's see if I can... Uh... It's quite a space out just using a moment of dead wood looking. So what I might do is start a pile Maybe like here, start a new pile. I'll grab these three here first, so I'm not going around them. Yeah, I'll grab these ones. And then I'll start marking way in, into the forest then. Say coming back every time. It's not a bad pile, it's probably the best pile I've done so far. I'll just spread out a little bit, but once you get them stacked up, they'll soon pick up. So I missed this little scraggly bit here, but that with a tractor later if you need to. Mm. Uh, yeah, I had my family come up, so my brother came up and my parents came up for Christmas. Um, so it was quite a busy household for the first few days. 
and it's been quiet now quite a few days back to work in a couple of days time so just making the most of some peace and quiet I think it's best actually just extend it more so you get more level. Yeah, cheers buddy, no worries. Yeah, in the building. We need mirrors on this thing. A bit cl too close to the power that time. Just have a quick look. What damage I've done. Did I hit the pile? I think I'm okay. Yeah, I think I reversed into it slightly. Just move those back. Just tighten them up a little bit. I'm still practicing, so I'm not overly fussed about the realism side of things right now. Got these last two, and then we'll start making the piles in, in the woods. Then I won't process these ones, so I think we've got loads of logs still processing. So, what we might do is try and get a trailer, at least a trailer, and uh, sell these logs directly. It'll make us a bit of money then, and if I could pay for some new land. So episode they've recorded on this series, um, I've made the greenhouses on the island, which you'll see, I mean it's going to be out of sequence, but the most recent episode was clearing away the fields on the little island, and putting some greenhouses in. Um, I'll pop over and show you shortly what I've done. A little sneak preview of the next episode. 
Okay, no, that's good. Hello mate. Welcome back. So I think we made enough clearing now so we can hopefully start to cut logs here. You see what I mean if they hit the trees in the um if I sight in trees when they foot when they twist them they'll just just lag out big time, start doing crazy things. Seven, how's it going? Thanks for joining the stream. And a happy new year. Uh, what do you think of it? Do you enjoy the map? Imagine they freak out. What's that? Sorry, what freaks out? Oh, the trees, yeah, so. Yeah, it's a nice map, isn't it? It's quite. Not many people play it either, so. Where did you start your farm? On the map. So you see there that it's hitting the trees in the distance, so it's not great. But if I start them sort of over here more, if I can get to it. Yeah, you see there it's getting caught on something. Or we'll just cut here, I think. I think they're not as thick these ones, so should be a decent sized pile. Yeah, I'll need to send you the save game at some point and we'll try and do some logging together once you get your joystick set up. Oh, bloody hell. That was not meant to happen.
we've got that woodland as well, we're in the no man's land, doing the field we ploughed in, still that big woodland we can cut down as well. Have some practice on that map. Let's check my view a minute, how much it's looking. Before you start the piles as well, it's hard to uh, see where your little off cuts are. Let's put it around. Yeah, we're doing okay. So if we start going, go to the left first and get these ones done. Do you use the um, FDR stuff or do you just use the base game or Platinum Expansion on the Xbox control? Uh, game volume up, yeah, no worries, two seconds. How's that? Any better? Yeah, I tried to use the um, controller for login as well, but so yeah, with the um, base game ones I found and stuff, you can obviously what we're we doing. You can set up the header or the processor to spin the same as you can do on this one, but on the base game and platinum ones, as soon as you grab the tree, you can't spin it anymore. So you, all you can do is, is turn. Which obviously you need to be able to spin it to put it down in a nice neat pile a bit easier. So it's quite difficult with the base game ones you'll find. Um, so here like the control you get on this is quite good. But obviously you can't do that once you've got a login in the, in the vices on the base game ones. And they just lag out and do crazy things. It's good. It's okay if you've got the buncher, the big one that grabs loads of trees and you pull them out the, into a clearing. But yeah, they are nice ones though, the Volvo. It's a shame they haven't got these Volvo on the FDR ones. Wrong button. So you'll find sometimes um it doesn't just cut all the time. It's a bit tricky. There we go. But I've got a massive stump there. Power here, I think. I'm also pretty certain the base game ones as well sometimes say like two, the tree's too big for the header, which I think they do on these ones. stump here I'm wobbling a bit. I don't, don't think I should need to lock in the vice each time. It's a little bit wobbly so it helps a little bit. Uh, much easier inside the cab because when you're... oh no, didn't mean to do that. Ooh. 
I was hit C then. Um, two seconds. Just get this tree cut and I'll show you. So if I change cab view, I'm gonna give it a try. It's a bit easier to see where you're placing the trees at least. I find it difficult to see where the actual um, header is because of the big arms in the way. So if I click here now, like you see it blocks quite a lot of what you're doing. So you can spin the mouse if you wanted to, so you can see. But it's, annoying, it's just annoying having to reach for the mouse every five seconds. back up slightly Yeah, it's, it's okay, but you see how long it's taken me there to get in the position for the tree because you have to sort of change the camera angle. But the benefit is, is that you can see sort of where you want to place it. I'm just going to be able to mount them there because there's a bit of a problem with this mount. Obviously, now I'm, I'm constantly changing the mouse, but the benefit is you can see around you. I suppose you can switch in between the two if you wanted to. Plus, being in the cab is a lot quieter. You haven't got the engine sounds like blowing out your ears all the fucking constantly. Lose track as well when I'm in that view, is which way the actual front is. But yeah, I sort of prefer it in cab, it's quiet on the ears, and you can actually see where the header is a bit easier. Obviously, doing time lapses, it probably is nice to change the view every now and then, just for a bit of variety in the view. You can see that because there's a bit of height in it. Sometimes they bounce, so it's best to lower it down just a touch. But then you don't want to hit in the logs, so it pushes them all aside. What I'd do is, just so we don't get too bored of watching the same thing, is I'm just going to stump quickly. 
You can use the Buncher header mod. So you can use either mm. that one there, the new Platinum Expansion one. But obviously you haven't got the boom arm to extend it. So you sort of are quite fixed really. So it could be a nightmare on a hill. Um, the grabber. Um, that's the, the modded one, which is quite nice. Well, they're not the modded one, the DLC one. And obviously these ones here, they, were, they are really nice. And you can change obviously the grapple to a harvest head. But again, once it logs in, you can't spin it. So it causes a bit of issues. But it is a nice looking uh, bit of kit. Um, but so obviously what you can use, that would be quite useful, I expect, for grabbing big piles. But yeah, they're your harvester heads, your harvesters. Um, that's basically the John D just seen the skidder, which is what I use because I can use a joystick with it. I can set the key bind to everyone as well if I wanted to. Um, the high cab ones are basically for your loading. So I'm going to hire one of these now. So again, you've got the Tiger Cat there you can use. And the Hitachi one is quite a nice one. Um, they're all the same price as well, 150k for the loaders. Same for the processors, but that one there is a bit more expensive. Um, I use the fixed one, it's a bit easier to use, it doesn't dangle and swing. I have a high cab one there as well. But you might find the ones you get used to using, and then just delete or un uninstall the ones you're not going to use. <clears throat> just so you've got all of them installed at one point. Um, what was I getting on to? The point was, yeah, with this one here, um, you can rotate that down when you drop the trees, and you can use that to cut the stumps at the same time. But it doesn't it doesn't like remove them entirely; it just cuts away the angle. Um, so it's okay. And then the, the log dangles, obviously, loads of choices. So what I'm going to do is um, eight meter logs. So it should hopefully get maybe two in there. So I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna have to lease this kit for now. So if I lease, I may have landed in my pile of logs I've made. Yeah. So I put uh, store deliveries on just for now because um, I was just setting up the live stream. Uh, we get a cheap truck. What's the cheapest one we can get? 130k, 79. I like these new Volvo ones, they are nice from the DLC. So that's the cheapest Mac. I'm not going to change the colour for now, I'll just release that one. 5,000, there you are. We'll make that back from the logs anyway. And then we'll need a. Uh... High cab one, go for the high touch, I think. Yeah. Again, it's quite a lot of money, but again, we are going to make this back quite quickly with the amount of logs we're going to sell, and in good good lengths as well. And then you need a grab a grabber. I try and get the again the fixed one if I can. I forget which one it is. Um, they're all the same price. I think it says dangle. It's um free swinging. So if we just go for that one there, at least that as well. And then at least the uh, Mac matches the um, Itachi. That water gets really loud when you uh, it cuts out like that. It's quite annoying. So how it works is, I've forgotten the uh, process now, where to park it, so it's the best way. It's quite a long trailer as well, actually. Uh, let me just check the video. There's good about FDI, he, he does these tutorial videos on how to actually use the mods, so it's like really useful. And it shows you a certain way of loading 
like where to place it, the loader and where to place the trailer to make things easier. So basically you want to be at the back of the pile facing the lorry, so really now if I go here Okay, we've got a bit extreme for this playthrough because normally they have such a big kit but obviously it's more for just for demonstration and a bit of difference and then you grab this one I think this one the Sim Farmer used for his uh, No Man's Land on 19 and all you've got to do is um just a little nozzle there. It should give you the key bind to attach it. There you go, and hit X. And it works very similar, basically still get your rotation, you can still go forwards, go backwards. And that's really all you need on this grab arm. So what it recommends for the uh, loading of the logs. Oh, thanks Stormy for checking in. I think this is right, how I did it the other day, or last night. So what would be nice on these is like a... Or to spin it on the spot. Like you can do with track vehicles normally. I suppose you can if you turn the wheel the whole way to some extent. So what they say, or what the video recommends, is as long as you can reach to a bit of a gap between yourself and the logs, and then you can reach forward, grab them, and you also want to load them between the butts. But you do need the triggers as well, so the open and close grab, which is next to my thumb on the joystick. And again, you just do a little bit of a test. Very much lined up there. As long as you can get over the top of it. Obviously, you adjust that as necessary. Yeah, I'm on the wheel now as well. So it's minimal movement, apart from pushing X on the keyboard and the mouse for the. Um, um, camera angle. So, so how it works basically is you need to find a pile, obviously you can reverse if you need to. You want the, ideally you want the biggest ones at the bottom. They're all very similar. And then these logs are massive as well, these grabs. So you want to get as centred as you can, but it's not much of a deal breaker if you don't get central. And you close your clamp, lift up slightly. Yeah, you all drop a few anyway, they naturally they just fall out. And you turn. We need to check your view on this one though, is make sure you got clearance on the actual back of the truck, which I have. And there you go. Simple as that. Again, I just need to back and forward a little bit. My pile is quite a big pile. Just go back and forward. It's not half as much room right now. I'm actually get my wheel out and set up. Yeah, you do need a lot of, um, I mean, you have seen some tiny desk setups with wheels on, but if you have got the space, I put, that's why my piece is on the floor, because you've got more space on the desk, just for accessories. 
I'm not overly fussed about having mine on the desk um, for show. I push the power button, that's it basically, and it's on. Not overly fussed about the lights. Probably a bit too, uh, on the end there. You get a nice firm grip. I think the base game ones literally you grab logs and the log grabs are terrible, they just never bloody hold anything. I mean that was saying that, they've all just fallen out. That's good, yeah, because I have to, like, on my one, I've got to basically um, undo the little screws and then just move it to the side of the desk if I'm playing other games to get my keyboard and my mouse and my microphone next to me. So it's good that yours folds away nice and easy. Okay, you're probably going to lose half of these when you pull up, but... Oh no, that's a bad. We just fix that quickly. That's why happens when you lose concentration for a minute or two. Also, really, you'd have like a group of you doing this, so they'd move forward and backwards to help you out. You wouldn't just be doing it all by yourself. But what I might do is actually just come back a bit anyway. Just some more lined up. So you want to aim to get the two spikes there, or whatever you want to call them, in line with the um, vehicle itself, the tower on the vehicle. That's generally a good reference point to go for. Should be interesting to get the truck in the uh, in the woodland though. We have some issues now. There we go. I've messed up this one a little bit, but you get the concept. Obviously you can get all fancy with it and drive around and pick it up yourself, but I'm going to just lumberjack it for now, just to save some time for the stream. Leaving reaches over there. There we go. But yeah, you can see there, I mean that stack in there is a lot better than what I'd normally do on a on a base game vehicle log grab anyway. And these little straggly bits I was gonna leave um until the end. But this bunk's gonna be almost full soon, I might just put them on top. Get these ones in, get these little bits then. Or you can get them all together maybe. 
Right, let's try and get this one a bit better. Obviously here, if they're a bit too far apart, can be a little bit fancy and try and scoop them like that. Still getting used to the uh, controls. So if these all stay in the clamp. So as long as you keep them somewhat level, it generally goes okay. But my position's not, it's a bit off anyway on the actual um, loader. Again, you can get a change view, make it a bit easier, I suppose. You can see if they're lined up, if you want to change between views. But for now, then you can just release, and they'll drop in nicely. We'll try this view, see how we get on. Probably is a bit easier, actually, doing this view for loading. And then you get the little scraggly bits and at the end look. Let's go on top. Oh. Yeah, so I think it's easier actually to do it this way because you can just you can see both view then, and you can just reverse. So it's much easier to load. But I think I prefer using the processor um, in cab view. What I find is when you start moving it down, this obviously rotates a little bit because you're trying to adjust. So it's more about getting that level at all times, and then trying to mess it up too bad here. But if you don't want to sort of neaten the pile up a little bit. Try and knock them in. But again, you don't want them too close to the back of the cab because when you start reversing, when you start turning, they might catch the back of the cab. Just tie them up a little bit, a bit better. I've lost one now. Yep. There we go. That should do. Yeah, that's not perfect, but I wasn't doing this last or two days ago. It's taken a bit of practice to get to this stage. But it's a lot easier than you think once you get the joystick. So again, pretty not too bad stacking. Just make sure you get these little bits on the top um, at the end. Not Don't put them on the bottom because it just mess things up. But yeah, it's not too bad from a first attempt or a proper attempt anyway.
And then you've obviously got room for the uh, back bunk there. Hopefully they don't touch too much. But as long as you leave sort of roughly along this line, line here, they shouldn't. Um, hit the bunk. Again, you can't just lock them in anyway. But it's trying to figure out a way in a minute to um, load this truck up with all these logs in the woods. Probably have to, I probably should put these straight here. Probably get the loader and move them to this pile. And then maybe put the loader here facing that way and have the truck alongside. We'll figure it out. There's something to think about, make our lives easier when it comes to loading. So really we should probably have our piles up here facing that way. Because then we can have our loader here and lorry alongside. I think we'll figure it out as we go along. How are we looking then for Files get in there to make sure you turn the mulcher on. It says mulcher, but it doesn't make a sound either. But you can so it goes blue. Look, so you know it on At the top left. Hit B again, look, it goes white. Again, we'll go uh, second cab view now. If I go um, so I think that's the best way to do this actually. Just check. So the pole here was facing that way, wasn't it? It was alongside the right. So if we have the pile facing the same way actually, so this pile here. It's in that way. I don't know. We'll cuff it. We'll see what happens. Let's do a full 180. Do our cuts behind us. One more cut on there. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll put it there.
think there's a stump there somewhere. Causing me issues. So you can see that it's hitting the trees over the far distance. And that's when it starts to lag or bounce you around. It's quite easy actually when you switch between the views, uh, like I was earlier. So switch them to load or make your piles and then cut inside the cab. Oh, forgot to add that one to a small pile. Oh well. Oh yeah, they're 100% better. Got so much more control over things. I think they haven't become as good. If you look at the FDR login update video, it says there's good things to it, but obviously you do lose some um, functionalities. Like, um, I'll show you, a, 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 give an example. I'm gonna get a tree. You're not allowed to cut this tree. I think this is the boundary actually of our woodland. Um, so I think our trees are. Yeah, these look. This area here is not ours. The small ones, the dead-looking ones, it's the ones we can cut. So let's just save us some time. We look at the farmland. Look, I'm pretty much on the boundary because that's going to cost us 150 grand for all of that. So we need to back up slightly and just use these all skinny ones. bit of a problem because when we spin them they're gonna hit the roof for the uh um sawmill Got a problem now, we've got a different angle. Can I spin it right round? That work. We don't need to be further away, don't we? So the piles match up. Should be okay. A bit close to us. Quite the limit, though. Let's go that way. So what we'll do is, just because we've already leased out loads of kit, got to go. Need sort of ship now. Yeah, no worries, mate. I understand. Covid is a uh, not a pleasant thing to have, so hopefully you get well soon on the family. Thanks for dropping in as well.
If we mix up those skinny ones now, the big ones, it's not ideal. There's a power over here somewhere. It's hard to see when the grass is quite long. And get the forest ground texture. Most of a pile gone. There they are, look. Just gonna cheat a little bit, put them over here. I messed up. If we find them again, that is. Yeah, what I might do is I might go get a grabber as well, actually, and just pull them out of the woodland into the nice clearing, make life easier. We've already spent a bit of money on the leasing anyway. Have a couple of grand might hurt. Big issue I find is trying to get that initial cut. So you think you're on luck, but when you look at this view, it's a little bit off. So you had a cut, and obviously you can see it's sort of wobbling around. Then you go there. You can close the wheels as well, but they're not really quite fitting in where very well. And then I back up. What you should be able to do, or was able to do, is oh, spun over too quick there on the trees. Cut it here because it's caught up in the trees now. There we go. Yeah, what you can do normally is use the rollers. Drop my keybind. So see how they're spinning? What normally it would do is move the tree along and you can cut it manually. But the rollers at the moment, I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, they seem a bit obsolete. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure why it's doing that. Because they are clamped in. Maybe I need to release the other ones first, the clamps. Let's try releasing the clamp, try it. No, it's done nothing. Uh, the land near the sail point. Oh, so I wasn't looking now, just hit the log. So, I've got a store to live on, can't they just for the live stream? Um, so, this one here, you mean? The vehicle shop? The big one, or? Um, what I did on this map, because obviously the wood sale point is, well, I had a joystick, you, you need a crane to load the logs into the boat so I just put a sell everything point there as well it makes sense because you, you know you could export things out um, so I could sell things there as well wood sell point but I just jump to there look so yeah, I placed this in I love you watch my videos um, if you've seen this series but yeah I placed it here so I can export like vegetables and flour and whatnot extra sell point until I get more put in but you do need a log. You need a crane to load them into here. Obviously with a tractor, it can be quite... I've got myself stuck now. With like a... Um, tractor, it's quite difficult to get to the edge and load things in. So what I might do is add a crane, like I've got over there, here for the logs. And then I can just have that as like as part of the... I don't know why I'm doing quotation fingers, no one can see me. Is have a... You know, a dockyard crane that can load the logs in then. Uh, the big one, let's have a look. 
that one there yeah 62 how much is that one 124 grand yes yeah, pretty, pretty expensive that one my one so i don't know if you watch my videos normally uh devon i bought the yellow island so i currently own this section the sawmill and this little place here little homestead i made cut by the trees this is my little paradise i made But that's the um, greenhouses, there was a field there, that's what I've not posted yet in the videos, I made some little greenhouses um, in this section here, so we can grow more vegetables and fruit, just some decorations I put in, I've got some bees as well, I do plant some sunflowers, hopefully they pick up the point over there for fertilising, got some honey there, and then um, I deleted this section here, I'm still in the middle of editing this bit, on my playthrough actually, that's why I'm posted yet. I need to do some landscaping to try and move out this area here. Or just have like a maybe a shed or a garage for vehicles or when I get a car, have this as a car park for the just the main get around car. Got some leftover lettuce there from that greenhouse there. But yeah, I think it looks better having like a homestead because now I've got a big field. I don't need to have these little mini fields here just seems like a waste i mean the size of this one's tiny but it was good when we started but yeah that's what's going to come in the next episode back to the login are you doing like a um survival playthrough to start from scratch or you just did you just buy quite a lot of things to get yourself going about the game quickly how's the stream looking i'm watching my stream back so i can see it and it was in a 420 480p that's why it's so blurry knock it down to 720 don't want to hog up my internet too much The problem is now I've got the log piles everywhere in all sorts of directions. What I might do is try and do some third person for a minute or two. Get these stacked up in the same place. On, that's why. Why is that not cutting now? That's why. I'm not even. Uh, my fingers are closed, that's why. And then back up. If we go to the back of us, we'll take that way there. Make our cuts here. And then our fourth cut, the skinny bit, we'll put the other side. There we go, that should hopefully get some system going now. As long as we come back to that middle point each time, it should be okay.
bump removal as well. Again, same again. Just uh Yep. Quite a heavy tree this one. So I can't see as well doing this way, but what the actual tree is doing. It's obviously caught on something. I just cut in. We've got six people watching. Do feel free to say hello in the chat. So we can get some familiar names I might recognise from some comments. Yeah, say hello. Let me know how you're doing. Um, and if you could like the video, it'd be much appreciated as well. Got six watching, four likes. It does help me out slightly. I've had a bit of a gap, a gap as well on my um, videos late, as of late with Christmas and being sick and all. So I need to catch up on some videos. Hopefully people haven't unsubscribed too fast. Is that getting caught on? Well, nothing. I think it's just a weight distribution. I'm on a bit of a, a bit of a slope as well, so it's causing things to it's going nice and slow. That's a bit better. Here we go. <coughs> and then the fourth cut will be... Oh no. Oh no. Let me just uh, pretend that didn't happen and fix this quickly. It always happens the second I look away from the screen at my chat. Again, we're still um, learning this new controls, so don't hate on me too much for just doing this quickly. When I get better, I'm doing like a serious playthrough, I'll avoid using the Lumberjack mod or Super Strength. Did I miss come up now? I heard oh no. Oh yeah. As I swung my cab around to get the skinny bit of the tree on the left side there, mate, I hit the pile and messed them all up. Just had to reset them. Try it quickly without locking the arms on it just for a minute. See what actually happens if it falls out. It save me a lot of time.
Yeah, hopefully I'll be a pro. It will make me definitely do a lot more logging in the future as well. Because obviously at the moment I'm trying to, I just do a lot of things off camera like I said earlier. I just delete the trees or cut them with a chainsaw and then lumberjack them. Because the videos would just be very boring out of me trying to do some uh, terrible logging. But get your setup, mate, and we can work together. One of us can load and one of us can cut. Was that three or four cuts? Can't remember now. Trying to avoid that mistake again. Let's lift up a bit more. Quickly, just sort this pile out. Got a loose log here. Give this big one as well. Got the system now. I'm just trying to get in the right places for loading later on. That's my skinny power now. So I can see. What I'm going to do though, very quickly, is. Um, I if you just landscape some of this area. The forest ground, so I can see a bit better. Up a bit there. One, one. That's better. See what I'm doing now. As soon as we're getting together, let's both need to get my doing still properly first. Uh, it, what software installation or just the key binds and whatnot. They're pretty easy to actually set up. I thought I'd have to do loads of software stuff on the like the third party stuff, but it literally is a case of just going, um, make sure you go game, gamepad, they're blank, make sure you go gamepad, and it will show some of my steering wheel, which is those ones there, Logitech steering wheel. Scroll down to the bottom for FDR. Um, and that's it, really. Um, I haven't had to reset them just yet, but I've not actually got them all set up really either. So the main ones you need is obviously these sort of ones here. Um, Telearm stick out I had set for some reason, but I don't need it just yet. Grapple tail in. I'm going to switch these two rounds. I keep doing them in the wrong order, so I want. If I just delete them both actually. So four was open. So I want three as open which is my left one and four as close i think that's right so i kept doing them in wrong order so now it should be close open but that's the exact same isn't it i'm not sure what i've done 
But yeah, once you, there's plenty of videos out there. I'm sure there'll be loads of Logitech. I'll just copy the Frostmaster one and then just obviously um, so just just use the controls you've got available. You, most joysticks look the exact same anyway, just different brands. The power's going quite high now, I need to go a bit higher. Doesn't help, that's why it was causing the height issue, look. It's on a big mound, that's why. I don't think a landscape there either, so I don't know why it's so high. That's why they're so um, high up, keep hitting them. Not cheap. Yeah, I looked at, I've seen the brackets you can get, but to be honest, mine's, it lifts up every now and then. You could probably get some double-sided tape so and just keep it stuck on the desk a bit easier. But it's really not that intrusive. One thing I like to do in is actually, my armchairs from my chair, is just like tape it onto them somehow. Because then it's right by your hands then. It'd be a lot easier. I don't mean to do a video tour of my new desk set up soon, and you'll see what I mean. Let me just um, come in a bit. No. I'm sure anything there. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'd need them to be honest, because I sit quite close to my desk anyway. Because of my um, chair. I've got a gaming chair as well. I was on my dining chair before, so I'm much more comfortable. At the moment, because of the, because my mic's on my desk and not on the boom arm, I've got to lean forward a bit, so I'm not actually in the chair as I should be. But yeah, anyway, different story. I can hear some dogs coming. What time is it? It's half past five already. Daddy I lost count of my cuts now. Was that three or four? I think that was three. Yeah. Oh, hello, Arthur. Yes, sir. Mr. Morgan's, uh, come say hello. Hi, doggy. What are you up to? How long has the stream been on for now? I can't see. A um, couple of hours maybe? Yeah, I've got a gaming chair, which is like a proper low one. You can lean back in, it's got like a speak spill in. But the chair I've got now is basically an office chair, but just comfier. So it works quite well in this room. Problem is the floor's on a bit of a slope, because it's a, it's a cottage, so the floor is never level. So, and it hasn't got any locking wheels on it. So I keep sliding away. So I've got to use my sofa behind me to wedge me in between the desk and the sofa, so I don't roll away.
So now I'm pushing my uh, reverse and I'm sort of rolling back in my chair. It's not the perfect position. I have to get some wheel uh, stoppers, change the wheels on it. Yeah, I need to get either a rug in my area. I bought some little floor mat things, but they're just they're just so slippy. So I just need to change the wheels out. The ones with the locking nuts in, the little push buttons, stop it rolling. Oh, wrong way. Sure, what else is looking right now? Let me change camera and go. It's too far away, that one, but I need to be straight. Okay, it's coming up to at least an hour now, or over an hour, so what I'm going to do is I'll load up these last logs, and I'll call it a day, and I'll just get these last trees, I think, just off, off stream for the next episode. So what I'll do is just park this one up. very slow these machines are it's any problem they go very very slow I think now the best way to get this low truck in there with the trailer on to load these logs up. So we get the truck in, but we'll get the loader in first. So we can see the position a bit better. This one's just as slow. I'll grab these logs here actually. Mm -hmm. While we're here. One thing you can do, they are like a bit not even, is you can rotate your head. It says like that, and then lower down. It's not going to work, it's not a log now, it's on the flat ground. Normally it knocks the logs, but now it just seems to move the, the arm down. But yeah, that's a way of getting them a bit straighter. 
Yeah, do it, mate. I've been. I go through phase in that game. I'll play it for like days and days on end, literally. And then I'll not play it for weeks or months. I played it loads over summer leave. I didn't make any farms and videos for summer leave because I was playing Daisy for two weeks straight. That's a good game though. It's, it's quite enjoyable. It takes a bit of time to get used to learning the game though. It's much easier when you've got a tutor, you know, a handful of you playing it. These trees are going to fall out. Yeah, me and Stormy play it. We, she's been playing it. She started making videos on it as well. So she's been doing all day, making videos all day. Z, so it's quite addicting, to be honest. But if you die, you you die. You've got to respawn from the coast. You have to run back to where you started. You can't just like respawn where you died. So you need to be like quite tactical and careful on it. You find a good server to play, it's okay. But sometimes servers people can be a bit anal or just a bit annoying so it's trying to find the right server a lot of the time oh no one button switch my key binds around and I'll not got used to it That's fair, I've got a mixture of little ones in there, that's why they're all just falling out. This is why you need to get separate piles. Just sort this out, because I've messed up here. This is why it's important to separate your, your chunky ones from your little ones. first one over here. Again, this is just a learning video today. It's not a real one. So we're going terribly wrong. So I could probably sort this on the uh, with the grab, but uh, I'm trying to save some time and go offline soon. I'll leave these three here for the scoop in a minute. Hopefully, it doesn't mess up too much the um, loading on the trailer. Way off there.
But my only fault I find with logging on farms is the log grabs. Even these modded ones just sometimes just don't hold things well. Let's try a little matchstick thing again now, actually, so we can get these lined up. It might fall out, but... Being nice and slow. Got the pencil. Mm. It's not working very well. Normally they will go down and straighten themselves up. There we go. Uh, sort of. Normally grabs might be better, but now it's just not going very well at all. Yeah, I think it's because we've got a mixture in there. They're just not going very well. That's stuck in there now. What I'll do is I'll just quickly get these ones out of the way for now. And I'll um, just do the main part, we've sorted out. I'll grab these at the end. So, lesson learned just make sure you definitely don't mix your trees up. We'll leave that bundle there. I'd get the lorry. Bring it round. Remember, we spent about 20 grand so far on leasing equipment, so we need to make our money back. I think my steering wheel will set itself back to 14% dead zone as well because it's really stiff all of a sudden. It does it sometimes. Yeah. I'm sure this is the right place I need to be, but we'll give it a try. Right, try that, see what happens. And I'll sort these scraggly paths out uh, later on at some point. Under this uh, ratchet because it might stop them sliding in place properly. I just said about the floor, the rolling floor. Chairs, I, the chairs are very good. I can't fault the chair. Please don't fall down this time.
Ah, oh, they're starting to slide, aren't they? They're gonna fall out. No. No. Ah. So much for an upgrade to the physics on this game. Bloody hell. They wouldn't do that, would they? Let's face it. That massive giant clamp on it, they wouldn't just slide out of that. Let's not a pile now. Try again. Doing quite well, it's gone bad now, isn't it? Been on too long, concentration's going, that's why. It is easier to load it from the other direction, to be honest. Not the way I'm at now. Try this for you for now. A bit easier, I think. I think that mound's not helping. That giant mound we've got ourselves into. I should very quickly move this forward because logs might fall out again. really well earlier and I was just going really bad. I don't think the physics are helping, I can't, they're just bouncing around quite a bit. It's going terribly wrong. It obviously makes a difference the way you load as well. The way that it early is the best way I think. You're not moving too much. Let's try one more time. If not, I'm going offline. So what's going on these logs I'm grabbing here, they're just, these trees aren't the best I don't think, the physics on these trees aren't the best. I wonder if it's because they're different ones, they're not like the main mouse, the main part of the map. It's these skinny ones that are like a different section. Let's look at the difference of these ones and the, the main ones that won't let me cut. Oh my god, what is going on? Nothing's working. I 
One of those because of this mound and the way they're being grabbed maybe off the floor. They're just not sitting in the grab properly. The so ones that were on the flat seem to have gone in quite well. We just joined the stream, I wasn't this bad earlier. I was doing somewhat okay earlier. Right, final time, if not we'll just call it a day. Stress levels are increasing. Let's try and get a scent choice as we can. Cheers. Say about there is central. Just let the ones that want to fall fall quickly. So when they're sliding out, look, you can see it, they're sliding already. Let's take it nice and slow this time. Are we actually in the bucket this time? No, we're still way off, look. There we go, got that on the end. What I will do is get these little last bits in here, and then I call it. We'll go sell them. That'll be us. Gonna have to readjust quickly. Yeah, I think this mound is what's causing the issues currently because. Um, I'm like floating in the air. What I might do is just ready. Uh, 
move it out. It's just in that, it's in that area. There we go. A bit late now because the trees are gone, but shout out for you log off. Yes, yeah, so if anyone is interested in Daisy videos, Stormy's started a channel. Um, she's in the chat now, you can click her name. She'll also be in the comments as well on the main video once it publishes. Uh, check her channel out, give her some views, give, give her some likes and comments. And she's made a hotel on a map on DayZ. And you'll see the difference between uh, me trying to get free stuff and her trying to get free stuff. It's quite funny actually to watch. Thirsty men. I'm trying to use this view here. It's much easier this way sometimes. Yeah, if there was a key button to actually rotate this inward, like we will twist your ankle. So you see at the moment it's a bit of an angle. I can actually adjust that. There was a way to do that. Um, but I've run out of key binds on my joystick to do it. So I'll sort that out at some point. Might have to be quick with these because they might fall out. Maybe that's why they've fallen out because it's a bit of an angle. Give up, give up, let's just go sell these logs we've got. And then uh, call it a day. Before I uh, swear on stream, it's supposed to be a family friendly channel. Oh, it's got the ratchet around them, look. Oh my god. There we go. Not bad. Not bad for the first proper try. Let's have a look where we can sell these logs. Probably just sell everything point. Um, Carpentry we can't sell because we own it. Sawmill we own. Sell all point. 1731. Sell everything. I believe that is one of the docks. I don't know. 1-1... One, one, Seven eight. I can't sell them. I can't because that's the uh, chip. Where is it? I oh, know it's the one. 
furthest away. No, it's not. It's the uh, normal one. The docks. So I'm not sure if they're different ones, you know. Let's have a look. They're in the same place. Sell everything. 1780 ones. 1803. Where's that one there then? On the map. Okay, so there's more money in the actual boat itself. But we can't do that because we've got the crane with us. So we'll sell them in the. Uh, We'll sell them in the sell everything point. So eight meter in length as well. Bear in mind the ones we sell in previous we were like four meters, three or four meters for the small trailer we had. So we should make back our money on the lease in quite quickly. And we've still got a fair amount of trees to go. If we can get over this hill. It's gonna be interesting getting over that big hill, isn't it? Not the most powerful truck I've leased. I do plan at some point is to carve a road in around this big giant hill. <laughs> so you see where the field goes in the far distance there. Go around that and carve in a, a track to avoid going up this big giant hill. Weeds are coming through again. It's not good. Okay, some speed. Oh yes, there we go. Oh no, I'm not going to make it over. I didn't get a big enough engine. Well, I can't even teleport because it will uh, lose the logs. Might need to make a detour here. the woods it's a good job no one else lives here above me can we get the small hill oh no come on Probably gonna get stuck in the woods now, and I. Going slowly. Should've done on the hill, shouldn't I really? Instead of getting stuck in the woods. I need to go uh, have some dinner, so I'm just gonna do that. We're still stuck. Come on. Yeah, I probably should get to work on that road sooner than later, actually, because we probably are gonna do some more proper logging now. I'm trying to tip over. I hope no one's tuning in that doesn't normally tune in. They're like, what is going on? How come my name doesn't come up? What do you mean? Mr. Titan now. Just 
Stormy Plays. That's a good name. Who came up with that idea? Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I've messed this up entirely, haven't I? Like it isn't a proper video. I think you can only change your name a few times, you know. Uh, it doesn't. Why? Because it's I'm outdone by popular name, obviously. There isn't many Jamie Ailings in the world. So I plan to get a crane in this section here so I can load the logs into the boat, it's more money. We get ow. Hopefully I've got to unload them. Is there a trigger here? I can't remember. Yeah, there we go. So much we get. Oh, wrong one. 17,000 for the first batch. Twenty six thousand must have been fatter logs in the back. So yeah, we just made about thirty five to forty odd K. So we've made our money back anyway on the leasing costs straight away. And there's uh still more to come. Anyway, I think I'll call it there. Let me just get this truck back. Um to where I started. I wonder if I can make up the hill without the logs on. Let's give it a try. Yeah, thanks for dropping by, um, Sloth and Devon, who commented. Obviously, this video will be up anyway on the uh, playlist, so you can watch it back as part of the time lapse series normally. But if I'd go live today, look at that, no problem now. Saying that, saying that. I didn't even look at the engine when I when I bought this, I just leased the first one I saw, so note to south, get a bigger engine next time on this map. Yeah, you get more obviously as well when you get decent cut if you get long cuts, you can get more money for bigger lamps. Right, we made it over the first hill at least, without any logs in. Yeah, this is episode 11. Obviously, in the future, they'll go back to um, time lapses. But if people have enjoyed the live stream on this map, let me know. Um, and I will probably do some more. Maybe not two or three hours long. I don't know even how long it's been on for now. But at least an hour or so. Two hours tops on this series. Yeah, that is us now. Thanks for dropping by. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.